fire hydrant, doorstop, condom, space worm. Yes, we Patty likes healthy sex. Oh, oh, hey guys. Hey, uh, hey welcome whoa. to episode 69 of Is We Dumb? Nice. Mm-hmm. Noise. And as you guessed, yeah, dicks and vaginas all day today. It's going to be a sexy show. Because we are or children. We are children. Maybe, maybe not a sexy show, a sex filled show. Right. Sexual in- innuendo filled show. Close on. At least, close on. I mean, I don't know. No problem. We, we don't. We don't know what uh, anybody else is doing. I don't know what's in there. That could be vodka. Mm-hmm. By the end of this, you'd be fucking hammered. Oh man, stripping, stripping, dancing <sighs> naked on the table. That's Hi. What, that's what people want to see. <laughs> that, well, okay. Uh, Welcome. Right, we're, we're gonna be a poll. We'll put a poll out, <laughs> and I'm guessing it'll be yes. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of yeses huh? in the next episode. You have to dance on the table naked. Then, I'm, I'm not sure. The whole I, thing. I make sure it's sturdy enough so that Dan doesn't die. Oh man, because that'd be a problem. Logan and I. Both vote no. Oh, well, that's rude. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> what, what if we? I, I do think about weird stuff like, uh, where what if you did that, like as a joke, mm-hmm. or whatever, you get drunk and just like as, a, oh, people are gonna hate this and think this is so stupid, <laughs> and then it backfires kind of in a good way, where it becomes like it goes viral. That's it. And then you get a whole new set of listeners who just are like strip every show, strip every show, and it's, you're like, I don't want to be like a laughing stock or whatever, but some people do find it sexy, and the fucking views are off the charts. There's so much money on the table. Just the spinoff. Is we dumb gets mm-hmm. canned. Right. What a and weird way to Dan, become a stripper. Dan stripping on a table mm-hmm. podcast number one. And then and then what <laughs> what if through this weird joke, just this middle aged guy who's not even in that good a shape <laughs> sure. becomes the world's highest paid stripper, dude. Right. And then I and then I stop doing stand up. Crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. I stop doing stand. I just do theaters where I just like just dance around naked. On stage, do you don't even say anything? Yep, don't even say anything. Just, no uh, jokes. Little no, little noises like, mm-hmm. mm, and that's it. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's all. Standing they get. ovations. <laughs> People having to run to the bathroom all the time. There's a huge line Standing for the bathroom because they're jerking off and diddling in there. <laughs> right. Just... They, 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 you, it's the first theater where they bring mm. in porta potties. Oh my god! And they push them into the, the just so you don't have to go. You don't have to walk all that way. It's the, just go right to the end of your aisle and just get in the porta potty and, and spank it. It's the first theater <laughs> tour where they have like like some new kind of technology. They build these special little like uh, seat dividers, <laughs> and so like like normally when you pick out your seat, you're like, do I want the general admission or mm. or do I want to be in the, the in the orchestra section? You know, whatever. Or the splash zone. This, yeah, for this one, it's you get to be in like you get to buy jerk off booths, mm. and, and it's like single or double triple quadruple but it's like i'm just performing there's like people behind all the booths but then there's a bunch of people in booths where they have like little glass fronts where i can see them but the other people can't <laughs> i picture and, that and, and so i'm just staring at a bunch of people just jerking off women diddling <laughs> i picture that mm-hmm. you can't even see that much all you get is a tiny cutout like you get oh. like a like a, a 10 inch eyes. 10 inch circle you can see like steamy steamy mm-hmm. glass steamy glass intense <laughs> eyes sometimes they have mustaches sometimes they don't and if they come they draw a little heart in the steam Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's how you know you're doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, instead of like clap, what they do, they, they hit a buzzer in the room. Like when you come, you hit a buzzer, and then I get like some kind of banana, like, like little like. <laughs> you get Nickelodeon slimed. Like that's how. They, like, this is so, a complex I mean, show we're building. Goals out. are on them too. Like they right. want to slime you, so you better come. Oh my god! Now we're really building the show. This is a new kind of show. <laughs> it's kind of like it's like a really perverted version of um, the dunk tank. <laughs> you're trying to throw an apple and dunk somebody, except this one you're trying to like come, so then they get like uh, slime dumped on them. <laughs> Fucking dick tank. Right, <laughs> the, dick, the dick tank. But then you gotta like you can't allow cheating. Oh, of so, th- so then there's got to be like some weird supervisor in a got, booth. Got to check it. Yep, and he's got a fucking wall, of ca- a wall of uh, monitors. Oh man! And he's making sure that before they, when they hit that button, he get, he gets signaled, <laughs> and they have to like show their limp dick to him and like point out some comma whatever. Or, or, sh- or I don't know, really show like moaning, like a replay. Yeah, they have like assistants <laughs> that like, oh yeah, she was moaning. That de- did seem legit. And then they're like, okay, pull down the slime. Are her legs shaking? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thighs were shaking. <laughs> Thighs were shaking. Mm-hmm. Fine. Fine. It counts. You, you, you have a little form. They like, they and, and off. Then, she signs it. Oh my God. That gets a bunch of press. Now I'm doing a fucking world tour. Now I'm doing stadiums. Can you see that usher, like the, mm-hmm. the cum checker on indeed.com? Like they're just looking for the best. <laughs> right. And you come across that resume, like, mm-hmm. I, I think I qualify. <laughs> What are the qualifications? I don't know. Good at knowing what cum is. <laughs> right, I can do right. that. I have so much experience <laughs> knowing what cum is. <laughs> ah, oh, right, yeah, so episode 69. We are mm-hmm. going to make it um, kind of like what we're doing right now. Yep. It's going to be more of what you just heard. Just for funsies. Uh, before we get into the show, we do have a merch sale announcement, and this is 
company wide. 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 I need an echo button. <laughs> uh, across all the podcasts, and we're going to celebrating how uh, shitty and weird 2021 was. Okay. Like, what the fuck just happened? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, starting tomorrow at noon Pacific time. What's happening? Until November 30th. Yeah. If you go to badmagicmerch.com and enter promo code 2021 was weird. 2021 was weird. Number, <laughs> all numbers together. and words. Right. Numbers, words. Uh, you get 30% off Whoa. any item store wide. Did you check the budget? Do we have. <laughs> this, is, this is how we go bankrupt? Have... Okay, we're, we're, we're playing off like the stripper thing is like, <laughs> we're doing this for fucking money <laughs> because we knew this sale was coming and that's going to be the end of the, the entire company. But instead of like the huge kind of uh, thing I just described, <laughs> the play where you're desperate for money is now I'm just at like Deja Vu in like uh, Spokane Valley <laughs> and I'm on like a Monday night. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you got middays at Denny's. I got middays. There's just <laughs> it's just me dancing and one dude who's thinking about jerking off, <laughs> eating a pancake, eating eating a pancake, <laughs> and just like he might jerk off later. Right. He's he's really tired. He's been working all day. <laughs> <laughs> he came for the pancakes. Your dick's out. Just like that's bonus for him. Right. Right. One one lady and she's she's not diddling, but she's like I don't know. She's, she's battling. The, she thinks she's a little moist. <laughs> she she wouldn't she wouldn't use the word wet, but she might be a little moist. She wouldn't even say moist. She wouldn't even say moist. <laughs> damp. What damp? She's slightly damp. And she might. Oh, it could, could be pee. It could be excitement. Think about she's that. She's not sure. That sexy talk. Oh, baby, you wet? Nah, damp. Nah, damp. <laughs> Oh, so you're moist. No, 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 no. No, no. No, I'm just damp. No, below Slightly that. Slightly damp. Below that. If you did a, like a paper test. Now I'm dry. Now that we started talking about it and you, you seem insecure, now I'm dry. Yeah. <laughs> the well, dry. well's gone. <laughs> well, it's all, all closed up. <laughs> well's dry. Uh, so anyway, go to the website, badmagicmerch.com. Mm-hmm. Enter 2021 was weird for 30% off. And again, that's running until November 30th. Uh, and that's it. We're going to be cleaning out the yeah. store. We're going to take some, you're taking some stuff out, heading mm-hmm. into the new year, clean it up because mm-hmm. we dump out a, or we put out a bunch of stuff Yes, and we've got to, we got to whittle it back. So we'll look at the favorites throughout the year and then yeah. we'll make sure those continue. And the ones that weren't your favorites, then I guess, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them and fuck you. And, uh, and I want to thank the dummies that came out to the, uh, the Denver comedy work shows. It was a blast in Denver this past weekend. Yeah. We're still working on so much new material and figuring it out in front of fun audiences, which is great. And then in Loveland, Colorado, huge turnout in Loveland too, which is just north of Denver, two shows. That was a blast. Uh, thank you for coming out. And then uh, just two places left for the for the rest of 2021. Just going to be in uh, Tampa and Tacoma. And and most of those tickets are gone. So if you, if you want to go, get them quick. And uh, if not, I'll, I'll see some of you hopefully next year. You can go to dancummins.tv for all the spring 2022 dates. Like Atlanta, uh, Missoula, Montana, which is new. That is new. Mm-hmm. Having a, There's some great shows in Missoula. Yeah, Missoula does get good it shows. Does. So it I'm really excited does. to 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 jump in there. I'll be in Chicago, and uh, Los Angeles, and uh, San Diego, and a bunch of other places. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I miss you already. Oh, thank you. Just stay home. <laughs> stay home. Why do you keep leaving, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Yeah. So go, go check that out. I, uh, I had some. I had actually a, a handful of friends that saw you in Denver, and they oh, all cool. said that you were funny. That's good. So fuck yeah. Oh, sweet. What if they came back like I don't know. That is all my fear. That's always my <laughs> Biggest fear. fear. Like yeah. someone who like you know you talk them into going an acquaintance of some mm-hmm, sort and mm-hmm. they fucking hate it. And, well, like in Denver, people would walk right by the green room when they would exit, and I don't even think they knew it. And the mm-hmm. wall was kind of thin. And uh, Doug Mellard, the guys working with, he's like, he's like, oh, we just listen to see what they have to say. And I was like, nope. nope. I was like, we should turn up <laughs> music. Yep. Turn up so music? I had music. I'm like, you're the best around. <laughs> right. Because I, yeah, in my head, I'm just like, uh, that would just irk me if like on the way out someone's like well you used to be funny <laughs> god damn it fuck you so like, I can you take have, that into the next show you didn't choke hold somebody <laughs> pop it out they're like am I funny now am I fuck- Who, what's your name Rebecca am I funny now Rebecca like, Jesus Christ Dan that's what uh, we're talking about you've lost it <laughs> uh, okay so we're doing Dumb Dumb Idiots listener edition today yeah on episode 69 so you know what they're gonna what they're gonna uh, talk about mm-hmm. stuff mm-hmm. wieners and butts wieners and butts uh, and then we're gonna get to the starting question which is also gonna involve Probably like wieners and buds. Maybe a vagina. Yeah, Mm -hmm. stuff like that. Ready to do it? Let's do it. Okay, Zach, push it. Thanks, bud. Yeah! The very super most important starting question. (laughs) Dummy Cam. Dummy Cam. Cam, thank you so much. And this one one does bring a lot to the table. There's a lot to unwrap here. You ready? Yeah. Would you rather know the list of people you will have sex with for the remainder of your life? Okay. Or... Know the total amount of time you'll spend having sex for the rest of your life down to the second. Hmm. That's terrifying. Yeah. Both of these, not fun, not ideal, 
The issue with the list hmm. from and again, if hmm. you're if you're not in a in a marriage, right? Then you might. I mean, I'm guessing 100. percent You'd be like, yeah, fucking list. Yes. Duh. Yeah. Why not? Uh, but if you're in a marriage, hmm. like that means it's gonna end. Right. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe you just have secrets. <laughs> like, or, so right. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe the list is just one person. Sure. Then you know that. Well, um, yeah, sure. So if, the, if just said, if yours just says Lindsay, right. mine says Aaron, you're like, cool. So end of time. Right. Uh, me and you, baby. But if it has a yeah. different name on it, oh boy. I know, I know. So you're that, like, well, fucking sorry. And you don't know when. Right. You, know how it's gonna, you, you could fight it for as long as you want. You could be on your deathbed. Yeah. And whatever, let's say her name is Ashley. Yeah. Last breath, she's running in and riding that dick. Right. In the hospital bed. Right. Family and friends all around. It has to happen. So before you die, she's running in and just fucking cow, just cowgirl. Oh my god, cowgirl that limp ass dick. Just, just you saying that reminded me. I don't remember what state it was, but I saw over the weekend. I read over the weekend uh, an article about a guy who, for I want to say twenty years, they think was just having sex with uh, cadavers at the at the morgue, like this mor- this mor- mortuary guy. Fuck this. Um, it's and a lot of relationships. It's a lot of relationships. Like he's his fucking corpses. Who's for- paying at dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Come on. <laughs> Right. But but there was this in the article like this mom that just you know I guess uncovered it or whatever it was pretty ridiculous I mean I get God I mean she, of course it's grief like she's lost her daughter who sounded like her daughter was in like her twenties but she said when she came for the viewing she just felt that her daughter didn't look happy oh, it was like something like the body didn't, and then she found out this guy and she's like <laughs> that explains it like like her, her no 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 not at peace that's the word she used okay her daughter I was gonna say not happy that's an that's an ego blow that's an that's a weird ego like, blow if somebody if you fucked a dead person and they're still disappointed right Jesus dude but, <laughs> you've got to up your game <laughs> you are True. the worst you're the worst in bed <laughs> you're the worst in bed but, uh, but when dead people start frowning <laughs> after you fuck them and they're like man I could have done without that <laughs> but I did think the thing was I mean darkly funny of like like not that's why she didn't look like at peace right. like like corpses can have emotions like they can change like at first she was at peace uh-huh. and then she's just on the work and then like this fucking guy's yeah. weans in her in her butthole sure and then like the little frowny face on the like the already <laughs> dead person like mm, I don't, this is not how i wanted to be laid in the ground <laughs> <laughs> right, right. so sorry uh, that just uh, i was like oh my god i thought that was so ridiculous but this this thing <laughs> i i never want to know the future i'm not like like Lindsay, every once in a while, I was like, "Oh, we should go get like tarot cards." She's into that stuff more, and I'm mm-hmm. like, "Nope." Mm-hmm. Or she's like, "Oh, should we? We should get like a psychic reading." No, thanks. <laughs> like, I'm just not interested because I don't. I don't want it to be in my head. Sure. Either one of these scenarios is going to really be in your head. <laughs> yeah. I, and, but I think for me, single or uh, married, I would pick time because even single, I like the mystery of not knowing what kind of strange what would be coming up, coming. What, what could be coming up around the corner. Okay. That's exciting to go out to, uh, like, if you knew, like, okay, you're single and you know, the names are like Lisa, Tanya, and like, uh, LaQuisha. Oh, those, you saw, you those, saw LaQuisha out those, in public. But what if you don't though? That's what I'm oh. saying. You know that those are your only three names. And okay. then you go to the bar and you're like, is there a LaQuisha here tonight drinking? Like talking to the bar, is there a Lisa here? And then, and then if like those names don't show up, you're like, well, I'm fucking wasting my time, I guess. <laughs> well, anyway, good night. Anyway, have a good night. But what I was saying is what if you went oh. out and like the hostess was LaQuisha and then, but then and you, you saw the name mm. tag and you went, oh fuck. Right. We're fucking. We're going to fuck. And it couldn't even be that night. But do you, but eventually you're like, I don't know. Are you the one? Are you the Lisa? Yeah. Or are there, is it well, a different Lisa? you have to have last names. You have to have, I guess it's a list. So you don't, yeah, so you don't, but on, to your you list, know? all you're going to know is the first name is a Lisa. You, oh, so you think on the list, you, you only get a first name. Was that what it said? No, you could oh, have oh, both, oh, oh, but all you get okay. on a name tag is uh, yes, a first yes, name. Yes, yes, yes. All you get on so the name tag. That's, yeah. the, that's a player now. True. And you don't know it's if like, that's the one. That's going to mess with your head. Especially if you're not attracted to that Lisa. Right. That sucks. Right. You're like, God damn it. What circle, what, what has to fall apart for me to fuck you? Because I don't even want to. <laughs> right. So I'll see you doing coke in the dumpster. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> that would be interesting if you then like had like a uh, first, last name, date of birth. Mm. So then in that hostess scenario, you're like, hey, how, what are you? What are you like, 25? <laughs> like, you're trying to like fish around. <laughs> what are color? you, 30, 35? Or, like, whatever the age is supposed to be. <laughs> what's, your, what's your mother's maiden name? It's like weird password questions, though. Right. You have all the information. What's your childhood dog? <laughs> right. What's your first pen? First car? <laughs> or, or what if you, what if you got date of birth information mm-hmm. and let's say you're you're 25 you're 30 you're mm-hmm. a single guy all of the names on your list all of the birthdays they're in their 60s or older oh boy so, so you know you have like let's say you know well, you that's the guy who fucked everybody at the morgue <laughs> Hey! <laughs> right. You get it. <laughs> this is that'd uh, be a bummer. All of this is gonna, time is going to mess with your head the least unless 
unless it's a very small amount of time. Because mm. that would suck. What if all of a sudden you got your time and you're like, it says two minutes. Oop. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> but am I going to fucking die now? Now you don't want to have sex again. Sure, but for some people, that's the rest of their life. For some people, that's They it. need, that's, they need uh, five seconds. They need five seconds. You know, you know what I picture with the, the countdown of sex left? Hmm. It's like one of those chess clocks. Right. Like, oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. after you're like, and... <laughs> and right. you're like, it's done. Get your dick out. You're like, you look at it. Like, sweet. Still got three minutes left. <laughs> you're just, you're racing. Right. You're racing and slapping a little chess clock and figuring out how much sex time you have left. What if, what if some like crazy psychic, like some lady in one of those tarot fucking little houses converted into a shop that you see in all over America, this little like psychic readings and it's just some weird little your fucking, future. Also right. bakery. Right. Yeah. So you, so you get. You know, you talk to one of these people, they get their fucking, I don't know what they use, their crystals or their crystal balls. Or, it's, it's, called, it's magic. You know, they're magic. They get out their their, their magic juice <laughs> and they sprinkle around their magic juice to figure out your future, whatever they do. Uh, <laughs> Where's, what Mars? If, Where's Mars? <laughs> oh, it's, it's right there? Cool. Well, then, then magic is more extra powerful because Mars <laughs> is over there now. What if they tell you in this scenario, like th- they ask you, they're like, okay, yeah, I have to tell you one of two things. I have to tell you the names of everybody you're going to have sex with going forward. Mm. Or I have to tell you the amount of time you have left to have sex. You pick time and then they're like 90 seconds. <laughs> like, they, they, and then she rips her clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, what if they tell you the time? <laughs> they tell you the time. Do you then... Um, not just like stop having sex because you're so worried that if you have it, you're going to die. Oh, it's terrible. Or, or, or a nightmare. Do you, or do you go fuck immediately for at least 90 seconds to prove that it's not real? It's well, not true. Sure. But in this case, it ha- we're, this, we're saying no, it is in this, real. In this case, it is real. That sucks. Because then, then it's like, <laughs> if I know that I have like one minute left to have sex, I guess I go, I fucking leave <laughs> The, you know, I go to Tibet <laughs> and I join a, I try and become a Tibetan monk. <laughs> I love the idea. Of every would you rather we've done yeah. for 69 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> if like your answer the entire time was just doing it and like trying to like disprove it. Like fucking make me. Like all of it. Yeah, I did, of, I did try to just right. get completely out of it there. <laughs> for like all, all of them. Every situation, mm-hmm. whatever it was, uh, well, uh, just, it's just on my head right now. It's like, the, like, would you rather blah, blah, blah. Or have every meal shot out of a t-shirt cannon. Right. Fucking prove it. Prove it. Prove it. I'll take a fucking t-shirt cannon because fucking prove it. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I do love that though. That is I'm, funny. I'm, big, I'm picking time then. Okay, I'm I picking think, time. Oh, I can't man. handle the names. You can't, can't handle names. Nope. I I, I can't let, have that in my head. I think I'm going to go names. Just to I I would rather have really? that sort of excitement opposed to a countdown on my dick. But what if they told you forty names right now? And you're like, oh my then god, I know Aaron is one of forty. The future is bright. <laughs> You just told me that the rest of my life is fucking dope. <laughs> is what you just told me. Th- that just would... kidding, Aaron. <laughs> uh, I mean, there would be an, all a, of a an sudden, acceptance Aaron, period all... where you're like, "Oh man, yeah. like I'm gonna fuck this up." But, but maybe then I'm not. Fuck a lot of stuff. But maybe not. What if? What if that meant that all of a sudden, like Aaron was just like, all of a sudden she just Open. has a weird. Yeah, she just has a weird. She's like, "Listen, I don't want any new dick. I'm not interested in new dick. But God, I really want you to have so much puss. God, just go, go out there and get it. Go, go get it, buddy. It makes my heart. You betcha. It makes my heart warm <laughs> to know that you're getting just lots of new puss all the time. <laughs> In my head, the the oh. Super Mario song when you get the <laughs> get the the flower. <laughs> You just started playing. We're just like, listen, I would love I you. Hear that so you got it. <laughs> 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 so much faster. <laughs> just sprinting around the fucking levels. I love you, baby. I just picture like like the game version. It's like 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 Joe Mario Joe. I just picture you like from an aerial view. You're popping out of your house. You're running into your neighbor's house, and then like then there's another house like three. Like you have all these kind of like pre-planned. You're running into like this little kind of coffee stand. You're running over here to like like you. <laughs> Every time you have sex, little fireworks come off. <laughs> <laughs> Sprint out of the next one. Ah, that's fun. Oh, that's uh, okay, so we're on different sides. Uh, I think we both win. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, fine. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a story for Dumb in the Wild, and okay. we're digging into my past because okay. we're going to talk about dicks and pussies. Okay. You got it. I got it. Zach! Dumb in the Wild. Have a look at this little beauty. And, and, before, <laughs> and before you get into this, the, I just wrote this down so I wouldn't forget. This has nothing to do with sex. I don't, I don't want to break your flow once you get into the story. <sighs> I just wanted Talk to about my dick just <laughs> I just wanted to say Sam's number three downtown is a little diner in Denver. We ate there four days in a row and I've eaten mm-hmm. there in the past a bunch. It's so good. Just for, for anybody in Denver looking it's not like it's not well known. There's lines, but it has the biggest menu of any diner I've seen. Really? And we were we were having stuff all around it and it was all so good. 
Well, now I want to go. Now, 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 if you're ever in Denver, you need a, you need a X Benedict. Uh, you need one of I literally think 26 different breakfast burritos. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think there's uh, actually 26 was the number of breakfast burritos. Um, there's uh, seven or eight like more traditional like Mexican uh, breakfast. There's about 20 different um, potato stacker, which sounds like a, a breakfast bowl. There was about 30 omelets. God, this is the all the classics. God damn, they franchise it. Sam, Fran- Fran- Sam, Sam, get, Sam, out get there. your shit together. They got a lot of money on the table. I don't know. They have like it feels like they have about thirty fucking line cooks in there, or like short order cooks that are just like it's like a well oiled machine. Man, it's interesting just to watch. Where I'm like, how the fuck are you kick- kicking out? And it's big. You're kicking out so many different things so fast. I had a shitty salad for lunch, so now I'm like, now I'm hungry. Oh, now you're hungry. I want fucking Sam's. Sam's. <sighs> can we get okay. delivered? Do we uh, have we that can call? They can maybe uh, you know check the budget. Maybe if we the... weren't doing this fucking merch sale, mm-hmm, then probably. we maybe we could fly in some <laughs> Sam's. Maybe a drone could just carry some pancakes <laughs> out here or something. Wrong burrito. You drop off the wrong burrito. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's just frozen solid <laughs> by the end of that. Yeah, the altitude, <laughs> yeah. in the time of year. It's a brick now. You can build a house with it. <laughs> so sorry, I, I just want to forget Sam's. Now back to uh, Dick's puss and butts. <laughs> Brand new banger. <laughs> Brand nice. new, ba- so Brand nice. new nice banger. Brand new banger. Oh, banger. Feels good. Dude. Does that feel good? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, looking at the dumb and the wild for this week, and I'm gonna go back to college for it. Yeah. Uh, and this is something that, as long as I was there from the second I got mm-hmm. in, and this particular joke was also there when I went to visit my brother at the same fraternity. So before so I even went to a, went a to school, variety of fraternities. This is no, a common. No, it was the same one. Oh, the same same one. one. Me oh, and my same brother fraternity. went to the, the same fraternity. So this joke has been at that fraternity for a while. Yep, and it's okay. been on the same cork board. The entire time. Yeah. And I'll explain what this is here in just a second. Okay. It is a clear joke. It's supposed to be funny yeah. because of what is happening to this particular item. Okay. Um, any idiot should know that it's a fucking joke. And I don't think this is unique to my fraternity. Yeah. I haven't seen it other ones. I haven't seen it out in other places in public. But it's such a, I mean, it's just a joke that makes sense. It's got to be somewhere else. Okay. It's like a okay. dad joke in real life. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm talking about right now is there's a cork board in the bathroom of my fraternity that had a condom uh, on the cork board. And above it, it said emergency condom. And then it just had a thumbtack through it. So obviously. <laughs> and not through like the corner. No, no, like through, through the condom. Right through the middle. Yep. So the joke is, ha, ha, ha. If Don't you use, use this, it. you're going to get pregnant. Right. Like, something right. like that. Yeah. And, I mean, you might you might get away with no STDs because right. you're not rubbing warts on it. There's certain ones that can <laughs> right. get in the hole, but I guess yeah. uh, HPV isn't one of them. Right. Uh, and again, if I'm, I'm wrong on that, I don't think I am. I don't know. I'm not an <laughs> HPV ex- expert. I wish I was. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was up there the entire time. Yeah. For years and years and years, at least seven plus years, just in my existence, visiting fraternity to, uh, to see my brother, yeah, and then going for the four and a half years that I was in college. Okay, uh, it was there the entire time. So I went back to visit after college, and we were there for uh, a party that we have called like it's called Pirates Party. Okay, it's, okay, it's a big old thing, big old theme thing. Went back to visit some friends and shit, and the next morning we hear about uh, one of the dudes in the house was going to have sex or was or was offered. Uh, sexual intercourse with a lady. Mm-hmm. He didn't have a condom, and he wanted to be safe. <laughs> and if you know this kid, he's a fucking idiot. So you know that he was he was grabbing this thing in his brain, yeah. hammered drunk after the party. He was like, "Oh no, I know where emergency condom is." <laughs> so he goes and just grabs it, and he he legit uses it. Yeah, I, uh, I she did not get pregnant, thank God. But he just oh my grabs God. it, and then they talk to him about it. Like, no, it's a fucking joke. Right? There's a and, and hole it, through it. He's like, "Well, why is you say for emergency use?" Oh my God! It's like because it's a because we poked a hole in it. Like that's the whole. It's a dad joke. It's a dad joke. It's been there forever, and he just ripped it off and went and used it. And um, I mean, I I, I have to. I don't know him well enough to know if anything happened after that. Yeah. Maybe she did get pregnant. I, I have no idea, and he doesn't have a kid now. How low were the standards to get into this fraternity? Uh, zero. I've been, I, look, I got in. Me and my brother both got in. You kidding me? How high could they be? <laughs> I, but in every fraternity, there's a wide range. You yeah, got super yeah. smart and then fucking idiot. You got, you got that guy. <laughs> yeah. You've got people who are fun to party with, and there's people that you should make contacts with after you graduate. <laughs> and those are two separate people. True, the other true. one you're going to leave behind. you be like, that was great. We did some crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, please don't, don't talk to me ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Hope I never see you again. <laughs> Hope I never yeah. see you again. And these other ones, you're like, please, if I, I'm going to need your help down the line. <laughs> and you just got to pick uh, which friendships are going to hold on to. Sure, sure. Uh, and I'm sure I was that one that everyone was like, just don't fucking talk to me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and I get, I get it, I get, and I understand. But I got, I got some good stories. I've turned it into a, into a career. So 
fuck so you. fuck him. So yeah. fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, jokes on you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, but that yeah, that was it. I guess it, it stood me back to that. I had totally forgotten about it, uh, and I was thinking about it uh, earlier today. Actually, I think last night, uh, f- trying to come up with a sex thing. For yeah. the for the dumb in the wild, yeah, and I completely forgot about that, and I, I haven't thought about it in years. But he used it straight up, uh, thinking it was it was an emergency, right. like breaking a fire case glass. So good lesson there. Good lesson is we're trying to get smarter on this show. Mm-hmm. If you know that a condom has a hole in it, <laughs> that's not the condom you should use. Right. One of the main points of condoms is to not have holes in them, other than the one hole that you stick your dick in. <laughs> Bingo. That's, that's the only hole the condom should have is one. <laughs> Right? You put your ween in that hole, other end, no hole. Right. You get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Otherwise, it's less of a condom and more of just like a plastic sock. <laughs> right. It's, yeah, what is that? It's a sleeve. It's a, pl- it's a plastic sleeve. <laughs> it's a pl- There we go. It's a plastic Plast- sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Are condoms made of plastic? I wish they were. No, they're made out of um, wow, latex. Sim- latex. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> or sheepskin sometimes. Are those both? Are those pla- is latex sheep- the type of plastic? Sheep intestinal skin, I think. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if fucking condoms are made out of. Like, what is latex? Like, what is that? Is that it's got to be a form of plastic, I'm right? I'm sure somebody's like, it's a polymer. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, so it's plastic-ish, <laughs> right? Sure. Bendy. It's bendy. It's super soft, flexible, pr- maybe feels good on your wiener stuff. What plastic. is latex? It's a plasticky thing. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out by the end of the show. I, I, I just picture the guy who works at the latex factory. It's rubber. Like, it's got to so, be a so rubber. I was going to say, isn't it kind of a rubber? Yeah, Jesus Christ. So Jackie, they call it a rubber. I can yeah. look it up for you guys. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. I do love that in 2021. <laughs> we're like we're like three of us out there, and especially with Zach, we, and we all have computers. All three of us are like, God, what is, what What's is it? the name of that? What is that thing? <laughs> I'm pushing buttons out here. And then the fact that they call it a fucking rubber, and we both went latex? to plastic. It has to be rubber. Here, there's no I got, fucking I got way it right here. Plastic. What is latex? Latex? Oh, it's a software system. Uh, oh, so, no, this is a common thing. People also ask: Is latex plastic or rubber? Latex is a natural substance which is harvested harvested from plants. But it can be artificially produced through chemical processes. What? There's a latex plant? There's a fucking condom plant? It's often used as a synonym for rubber, but the term actually refers to a suspension of tiny polymer particles that is held in any liquid medium. Okay, now that's oh boo, man. boring. Boo. You know what? But latex is made from the sap of rubber trees. Okay. So it is related to rubber. Hey, and that's, <sighs> hey, that's why they call condoms rubbers. I mean, yeah, exactly. Bing. We got it. We figured it out. It's it's full circle. Mystery solved. <laughs> Mystery solved. Anyway, so don't fucking but, fuck one with a hole in it. <laughs> so don't, and don't, and definitely don't use a plastic condom. <laughs> a hard plastic a condom. A fucking milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> you cut like a part of a milk jug off and like tape it to your dick. Just the worst. I was picturing a custom. Mind the edges. <laughs> I was picturing a custom plastic condom, where <laughs> like a dildo. Right. No, but you got to get your dick. But a hard one, like oh. a hard because hard plastic. <laughs> right. Like you got to get your dick fully erect. Then they cover your dick in like warm plastic, and mm. then they cool it and harden it. Mm-hmm. And then you got to wait for your dick to get soft so it can get out of the the, the molded condom. <laughs> like a fucking earthworm. Right, and then when you then when you want to put it on, you have to have it at least kind of limp. You have to fucking stuff it in there, <laughs> like filling a mold, like filling a mold. And then once it's in there, then you gotta like hold it in place and get hard to have it fill up the hard plastic condom. What a problem! What a that weird a condom that is to picture about. Or p- the picture, yeah. <laughs> I can't feel anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, you, and then you can't feel anything. Literally nothing. We you should try some... sheepskin. No, I'm good with this one inch thick fucking plastic <laughs> dick I've got on. It feels the same. Sorry, extra safe. <laughs> uh, uh, can she move on to our, what our yeah. listeners have to say? Okay, that's what we're going to do, do it. now. Let's see if I do. Oh, oh. Um, so Dumb Dumb Idiots listener edition today. Yeah. And we've got two stories to get to. The first one shorter, the second one quite the doozy. But first off, we have a story coming in from Dummy Scott, who writes, Hey, dummies. Let me start with how much I love or how much I love my wife and how smart she normally is. But this, <laughs> oh, that's, that's a nice this preface. is too funny not to share. And it's maybe even, even going to provide some content. And of course it did. So we've been married seven years, our second marriage for each of us. In those seven years, she would occasionally reach over in the mornings and grab my dick. <laughs> and if it was even slightly sporting a chub, she'd ask, is that pee? I'd laugh it off. And I would usually, you know, it would usually lead to sex, so we'd, yeah, we'd forget yeah. about it and move on. But recently, sure. I questioned and asked her, uh, you know why it's called a pee hard-on, right? She legit thought it was full of pee in the mornings, hence the pee hard-on. I had to <sighs> explain to my 48-year-old naive wife that it was not, in fact, filled with pee, and that a pee hard-on was referencing having to pee with a hard-on. 
not a hard on full of pee. I'm not sure if other women are confused as well, uh, uh, or maybe need to be educated, or am I alone with the one woman who didn't know? Love the shows. You you make my 12 hours behind the wheel of my work truck fly by. Thanks. That'll be five bucks. Dummy Scott. Thanks, guys. says, P.S. We also share a tattoo artist with Dan, Will XX, oh, who started Will me XX. off with Time yeah. Suck Podcast while I was getting ink. Oh, so thanks, man. Will. Thanks, thanks, Will. Yeah, yeah I appreciate Will's that. awesome. Oh, man. That is so funny to think about... Uh, the, uh, her thinking that the the heart, like a erect penis morning wood right is just a dick filled up with so much pee that it's hard because uh-huh. then I just picture like he like he goes into the bathroom he has to like <laughs> kind of push it down bend over to get to aim into the toilet and then as he's peeing it just goes limp right. at, like something like, like all draining the, a balloon mm-hmm, like all the moisture getting squeezed out of it that is such a funny visual yeah, it is <laughs> that's just the way dicks worked. <laughs> yeah, like a water balloon. Like yeah, like, sure. like, like, like we just Fuck said. It. Like we just said, like a water balloon. You have a you have a taut water balloon, and then you go in the bathroom, and you end up with just a little plastic shrivelly thing <laughs> at the end of it because all the pee's out of your wiener. I picture uh, Scott's wife, who has remained unnamed. Mm-hmm. Uh, like she's super hard before sex. She goes, "Oh my god, so much piss for me." I think full of so much piss. He's like, "Yeah, what? Like why do you keep saying that? Like it's just right. a weird. Yeah, he's never questions it and the whole time. She just thinks the way that a wiener gets hard, it's just filling up with piss." And then I'm just pic- I'm picturing so it has to have this big bladder inside of it, and then I'm picturing how kind of gross that is, where it's it's either th- like this big basically a water balloon inside mm-hmm. your penis that uh, either gets filled with piss or uh, filled with blood. What a disgusting fucking visual for this like yum. This, That's what semen is. This, yeah, this hard dick that's just like a, a little bit of skin wrapped around a blood bladder. Like it's like a blood it's like a blood blister with some s- more skin around it <laughs> with piss in it too. Oh my god! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sexy time. That's fun. Uh, but this. Did Blah. remind me, uh, and I have to confess to this because I personally, yeah, did not know what a fucking train wreck it is when women go to the bathroom, mm-hmm. like go pee. Mm-hmm. I had no idea it looks like a broken fire hydrant, <laughs> like for a, like up until like eight years ago. Yeah. So sorry, I up until eight years ago I was not having Aaron piss in my mouth. <laughs> but then once that happened, I was like, come on, oh, aim it a little bit better. Oh, okay. Hit me in the forehead come and on. in the chin. No, uh, it actually, when uh, my daughter Pepper was little and mm-hmm. we're doing the potty training right. stuff. Yeah, what's going uh, on down there? Yeah, just, and I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, it just it it goes was, everywhere. I was like, what the, this is broken. <laughs> so what the fuck is this? Yeah. God, who did this? <laughs> and then Aaron, <laughs> I, I brought it up to the to ER. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. What the, what is this? Fix Bullshit. It. Fix your pee hole. Ah, that, that's the way, that's the way Jesus made it. Oh. What, 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 what a mistake. <laughs> he blew it. All right, but then I brought it up to Aaron. I was like, I don't know what's going on. Right, I felt so dumb. She goes, he goes, yeah, that's the way it is. That's why we have to wipe. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh yeah, well, that makes sense. I'm not wiping my. It's not you're not wiping your wiener. Yeah. Uh, All right, because things like it's, if it's super clean and <laughs> I mean 100 percent functional the way sure. it's supposed to be, you probably wouldn't have to wipe it. But this is just like a uh, just a fucking wet ass clam. Like just I, like I didn't blowing up. It's like a clam is full of water, and you go right. <laughs> I did not know it. I did not know it was that big of a mess. I, did, I didn't know where the pee hole was for the longest time. Classic. Like, uh, in, in, with women. Because I, I was like, for the longest time, I thought pee came out of the vagina. Mm. And, and like, as an adult, I'm like, well, yeah, the, you, I guess you just pee just comes out of your vagina. And they're like, no. And, and then I thought, well, I'm like, I guess uh, the pee comes out of the clitoris. Mm. The little tugboat captain. He's, like, ding, you know, he, he's got a little it's blow not hole one, on his it's head. Not, it's not one hole. It's the next. Right. Moving and, on and to there's the next not even, hole. And, and there's not even a hole in the clitoris. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I you're right. But, but I thought there was. <laughs> what if you just found out the next thing for me? I was like, yeah, I, fucking, like, I, I think the clitoris has a hole. <laughs> right, and you're like, right. God damn it. This whole thing is just a depression. Right. Builder, We're like God damn, I don't know anything. anything. But yeah, but then there's that separate little pee hole. I'm like, I didn't even know there was a separate like, little pee look hole at down the there. Guy in there. Man, it's it's so p- complicated. I know, mm-hmm. bunch of bunch of bunch of holes. My mm-hmm. I man, I, I wish I had more holes. That's what I always say. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> that that oh oh I did want to clear up something though maybe for uh for some women though because you know we're learning that like guys don't always know that it kind of like shoots in every direction down there sometimes and it can be a little bit messy and I feel like a lot of women have a misunderstanding around penises mm. when they're like well how come you just can't shoot it in the bowl like why why how, why is there pee on the floor <laughs> why can't you just aim it better and it's because it doesn't always shoot straight. Bingo. Like it's 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 packed into your jeans. That basically like think of like a kink in a hose, where the hose <laughs> gets bent on the end, and then you go to pee, and mm-hmm. sometimes it shoots farther to the left than you want it. Sometimes sure. it shoots farther to the right. There's all kinds of situations that can change the direction. Gosh dang. Yep. Sometimes maybe uh, and also if you had an orgasm, and if all the cum doesn't get out of there, oh, then there's a little blockage, <laughs> and then you have this crazy fucking where it shoots. God knows where it's going to go <laughs> for misdirect. the first for the first few seconds, Dude. and then it straightens out. <laughs> fucking. Those are like some of the funniest moments in life. 
is a is a what? is a dick hole that's like plugged up plug? with cum because mm-hmm. that is it's just it's so funny to me. You're like do do do. It's just a ninety degree angle. Oh yeah, I'm like how do I get on the counter? Oh Jesus, oh, Jesus. Christ! Oh hits God, me, hits me in the face. Oh, oh shit! I just peed in the trash can. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. <laughs> right, right. Oh boy, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way over there. I'm not going over there. Uh, no, that's yeah, that's so funny. Reminds you of that scene from uh, what was that? Me, myself, and Irene. Right with Jim Carrey. Oh, I never. Yep. Uh, I have seen it, but it's been so long. After sex pee, and he's like peeing into the oh, fucking shit. He has to wrap himself up in the shower curtain because his uh, <laughs> the pee's going all over the place, hitting the wall and stuff. I don't remember. God, that. I haven't seen that movie in so long. But that scene is uh, yeah. scene is so good. It's classic. So good, and it's also uh, with the wiener stuff. Mm-hmm. Like imagine you have a hose, and then you right. turn the water off. Yeah. <laughs> And then now take the hose and then whip it and make every single drop go in the fucking bucket. Oh right, good luck. there's that too. It's yes, good luck. Yes, not, exactly. not a chance. Mm-hmm. Not a chance. It's gonna it's gonna get somewhere. Uh, so our second story, and this one's the the doozy, coming in from Dummy Krista. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Who writes? Greetings and salutations to esteemed meat sacks Dan and Joe and the rest of the amazing Bad Magic crew. Aww, thank, thank you. you. I apologize in advance as this one is a bit of a doozy, but hopefully worth it in the end. The story takes place back in the summer of 2002. I was 16 and working my first job at the local movie theater. Best gig ever, as I got to see all the movies for free, even the rated R ones, <laughs> and all the popcorn I could stand to eat, which these days is not much. One of the biggest things about the summer, though, was the release of the latest Star Wars movie, which at the time was Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Mm-hmm. It was a huge deal at this mm-hmm. time, as I recall. I remember that. Even our little podunk bumfuck town in the middle of the middle of the Midwest, people were camping out in front of the theater for over a week wow. to get tickets. I do remember when people went crazy over that movie. <laughs> Me too. Needless to say, opening weekend was insane. The first Saturday had people dressed in all manner of Star Wars apparel and, of course, costumes. There were stormtroopers, Jedis, Leias, you name it. Even though some random aliens tossed in there. Uh, the place was a madhouse with a line wrapping around all the way out the outside, down the sidewalk. And then there was my friend, who we're going to call Tim. And he enters the fray. A uh, little backstory. Okay. Tim was quite the deviant trickster and found all the best ways to stick it to authority. But this year was one of the best ones. Tim had bought a costume, and not just any costume, but a penis costume. Oh, boy. It was fleshy. It was meshy. <laughs> and best of all, sometimes when he came up to give him a hug, he would shoot silly string out the hole that he'd cut in the top. Oh, my God. This particular costume had a mesh part that covered his face, so all you could see were his arms sticking out the side and his red high-top converse sticking out the bottom of the scrotum. Tim was known for running through the halls of the high school multiple times in this costume, even (laughs) showing up at various school sporting events and waving to the crowds before hightailing it out out of there and diving into the backseat of one of his friend's cars uh, with everyone in the car was wearing gorilla masks. It was glorious. So the superintendent was even offering a cash reward for students to turn them in, but since everyone knows that snitches get stitches, no one would cave. Flash forward to the movie theater filled with characters from the beloved movie franchise and now add in Tim and the giant penis. I cannot be certain what went through uh, one brave young Jedi's head when he saw the giant penis walking around, but because of that, of, because of what followed, I can only assume it was the opportunity he had been dreaming of his whole life. Boldly, he stepped away from his friends in the line, tapped Tim, where I guess his shoulder would be, uh, brandished his soul, or, or brandished his weapon, and proclaimed, "I challenge you to an official lightsaber duel in accordance <laughs> to the Jedi Council rules." <laughs> I cannot make up the uh, could not make up the rest, but I assume it was indeed very official. Tim shrugged and said, okay. (laughs) Then someone handed him a lightsaber. And there before all gods, old and new, the greatest lightsaber duel to ever take place in the history of a known known universe happened between a Jedi and a giant penis. Some people were confused. Some people were shocked. The majority of us, however, recognized the historical moment happening right before us and uh, knew exactly what it was. I was lucky enough to have front row seats. For the time, uh, the sword fight seemed to be uh, an even match until in a genius move, Tim threw down his lightsaber, bent himself over in half, and proceeded to start ramming into the guy over oh my and over. God. At first, the Jedi seemed to play along with it, but it didn't take long for him to take, advent- uh, take offense to what was happening to his person. Uh... Whoa, 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 stop! Uh, this is not the way the lightsaber duel is supposed to go. You weren't doing it right, man. <laughs> the Jedi Council uh, shall hear about this before stopping back to his friends in line. Tim just shrugged, picked up his lightsaber, and uh, backed up, proceeded to high-five a bunch of people who had enjoyed the show. Oh At this God. point, a lot of people were cheering, clapping, some of them still confused as to what the hell they just witnessed. Mm-hmm. But the best part of it all uh, uh, wasn't just the fight itself. The best part happened after. Because when this Jedi walked to, back to his friends to join them in line, 
they, I happened to be standing right next to where they uh, right where they were yeah, talking. Yeah. Because uh, I was at work, and the greatest conversation I have oh. never been a part of took place. Upon returning to his friends, the guy continued to fume. I can only imagine how he must have felt having his glory stolen from him like that. On and on he went about how pissed he was, how much of an asshole that dude was for agreeing to duel but not being willing to do it right. Oh my god, this guy, this guy's an uber uber dork or uber dork, dork and uh, like how naive it. and just uh, uh, it gets there. He's okay, coming there. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, and what was with uh, his costume anyway? Dumbest looking alien I've ever seen. Oh, okay. his friends were oh quick my to point god. out, uh, dude, you talking about his costume? He goes, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what that is. It's super lame, though. What is he? Some kind of space worm? He goes, dude, look again. His friends. Yeah, it's just lame. No, dude, look again. He does. Seems a uh, uh, team to take a moment longer to figure out exactly what he was seeing. And oh then my God. realizing following swiftly by complete and total devastation. Oh, man. No, wait. You mean to tell me that he was holds his penis up to uh, holds his hands up to, sorry holds his penis holds his hands up to mimic he's getting rammed by a giant cock in front of about a hundred people oh man this sucks his friend continued to give him shit asking how he could not know it was a giant penis costume right. uh, and when was the last time he had saw a, a space worm and like why was comparing that to a, to a penis <laughs> right. I don't remember much of the conversation after that I remember seeing the getaway car pull up once again driven by gorillas and Tim's red converse kicking out the open rear window as they drove away. Someone had apparently threatened to call the cops because of the lewd costume. To this day, it remains one of the few instances in my teen years that I wish our cell phones uh, at the time could yep. record things. Yep. I will forever remember the greatest duel to ever take place and the brave young man who was rammed into repeatedly by what he quite wrongly assumed was a space worm. Like I said, hopefully, if nothing else, this made you smile. Thank you guys oh for all God, that you yeah. do. I love the live show you guys did last weekend. So I, I pulled this from a while back. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm a proud space lizard and Robert. Yeah, thanks for supporting all the shows. I love uh, watching the show each week. Provide my husband, Kevin, and I some of the best belly laughs, and I'll be looking forward to buy my ticket to the next live Jed Talk. Keep Aww. on keeping on. Trista G. Trista, thank you. How funny. That was very funny. Ridiculous. Uh, God, what a, what a great thing to witness. And this Tim guy, mm. wherever he's at. Who's it? Where's this legend? Oh, my God. The stories he has <laughs> from his from his youth. I, bet, I mean, if, if there's what all that, the- What if that's run, all he has, though? Th that was his one trick, was mm. running, running around in the penis costume and then jumping into a car full of gorilla masks. <laughs> he's still doing it to this I, day. I feel like he has more tricks, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> if that's his one thing, and he did it for so long. He actually is in prison now. <laughs> Because he finally, like, he kept getting into, like, fights and, like, assault charges. Like, he wouldn't stop doing the trick. He, like, went into, like, the inappropriate places. People had, like, se you know, sex offender concerns with him. Like, mm -hmm. he just won't let the fucking trick go. Pick the, his family is trying to have an intervention right. with him. He showed up. His parents to, won't talk to him He anymore. showed up to his grandpa's funeral in a fucking dick and, costume. And, and, dropped and, off by a car with gr uh, <laughs> right. of gorillas. <laughs> he just ran out to the, to the funeral. Oh he was God. Like, <laughs> like, God damn it, Tim. Tim, why now? What are you gonna do about it? Silly string out the fucking top, then runs away and jumps back in and drives off in the gorilla car. He leaves his fiance at the altar. <laughs> yeah, like uh, when he's supposed to come down the aisle, he, he, he's late. Like she's waiting for him. Then he runs down in a fucking dick costume <laughs> between all his like friends and family, and then jumps into a car again with the uh, gorilla masks. I like it even more if he's already in it. Like he doesn't tell his wife. He's standing there. The wife comes through. The bro the song's playing. Oh she God. looks down the aisle, and, and he's in a fucking dick costume. <laughs> he's in a fucking dick costume. Everyone else is in tuxedos. And he's like, All the best. Love you, babe. And all she can hear is go, a silly string, no, uh, little noise out the top. And the only people laughing are the best men. It's like, yeah. It's funny. Then they put on gorilla masks, <laughs> right, and, they, yeah. and they all run and just jump into a car and take off. They pick them up. They pick and just carry them out the, out the door, and <laughs> the wife never sees them again. That's it. Cold feet. Cold dick. When, cold dick. 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 Uh, what's it called the? I don't know. What's it called when your dick shrinks in the cold? Shrinkage. Oh sure. I think it's just called shrinkage. Okay, well, I think that's shrinkage. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only wedding that ever will be described. It's like, no, yeah, oh, he, he had shrinkage. He had shrinkage. The the last second. Cold feet? No shrinkage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but everything. He just he won't stop using it. The, like, I just doesn't understand uh, uh, how inappropriate it is. Mm hmm. Oh my god. And Trista, Trista, right? Was when yep. he sent it in. Yep. Oh. It does remind me of. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of details about this. Uh, but we had a competition. When I was in high school, called Mr. Wood River. Mr. Wood River. Right. So you'd get you'd get nominated by your class. You'd represent your class, and then there'd be like this um, this event where they would have like a, a talent portion and a swimsuit portion. Yeah. And then like all kind of the beauty contest things at the end. Which looking back on it, they would auction you off to yeah. like walk women around school. It, right. it was a, right. a little weird. I'm not okay. sure. I, th I don't think it happens that, anymore. Yeah, that's stuff. But I, I think it's normal. Yeah, it was I think normal it's normal. Then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I didn't know how weird it was. Small town no. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, I don't remember what year this was. Maybe my sophomore year. I thought it'd be super funny 
to uh, you know the chef from South Park. Yeah, there is an episode where he has a whole song about like suck on my chocolate sweaty balls, right? Uh, and it's about him cooking something. So I, for my talent portion, <laughs> just turned it into like a home ec class, and all we did was talk about these chocolate sweaty balls. <laughs> And uh, no one cared for it. Right. Uh, very fun. I, mean, I thought it was very funny. Mm-hmm. Bunch of puns. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and at the end, it was a huge musical. Oh, my uh, God. You went all out. Yeah. Which was Chocolate Sweaty Balls. Uh, I didn't know I was disqualified. Uh, it's like I went on with the competition. <laughs> and I didn't get to do it any more years. So that was it. That was it for me. I never got to go back and do it. I'm surprised uh, <laughs> a faculty member didn't like shut down your mic or like or just kind of like like stop the show good and luck. pull you off stage. People were having a good time. If they oh. shut it down, there would have been backlash. Okay. But when riot. I, the second I got off stage, uh, the like, host was like, what, what was that? Oh, my God. I think it was the principal. What was that? What was that? What was that? What are you doing? I was Pedro, like, was I, I, I don't know. He goes, well, that was not okay. And I had to go. I was like, well, fucking hold your tongue. I go get my swimsuit on. Uh, and then went back and I had no idea. And you're like, sorry, I forgot that some people hate fun. <laughs> right. Sorry, I thought the point was to fucking entertain and raise money. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> right. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play a fucking accordion next time. Sorry, I forgot a lot of the parents and faculty here were fucking sticks in the mud who just hate right. joy. Right. Uh, and then uh, I, my bad. I got disqualified, but I blame it on uh, a couple years before. Mm-hmm. Friends of mine were in the same competition and they did that uh, uh, Monty Python sketch yeah. where they played the piano with their dicks. Right. Have you seen that? Uh, so you don't. You no, don't, actually, I've not seen that one. All you see, I think it was them. I don't know for sure, but all you see is the back of the piano. Okay. And then two dudes walk up and they lift their hands up and then they just bounce around and play the piano with their dick, but you can't see it. And like, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh shit, I can get away with a lot of stuff. Right. And I got, I got disqualified. And those guys got to get away with that. I wonder, huh? I mean, maybe yeah. they, maybe Changing they got times. disqualified too. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> maybe they, I guess didn't hear about it. Right. Uh, right. They were, they were older than me at the time, but that was my, um, that was my bar. And apparently I crossed it. It is, it is pretty funny where uh, when I was at Gonzaga, we had had this sketch show called Waiting on FM, and I think it eventually got canceled, I think, that because it was like uh, partial <laughs> nudity or something, but we do all this reverence stuff, and it is funny how like when you cross certain sexual lines oh, yeah. in America, even if they're kind of uh, you know tame, it's like, nope, can't <laughs> do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, it is, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess maybe it's a talent show. I mean, uh, were there like little kids in the audience? Sure. Okay. I guess. I guess maybe. But but, but even but that all is the weird. innuendos, you wouldn't know what chocolate right. sweaty balls were. Right. Or check with salty balls. I think it might salty have been. Salty balls. Yeah. Whatever. And he, I forget he, now. Even though that's weird, where it's like it's salty balls. Salty balls. Okay. Thank you. You can do like violence. You could have, but but not. I don't know. Like I could have gone around and just like executed people. And they'd be like. Yeah, good job. Good job. Wow, marksmanship. <laughs> right. uh, but the the final thing that got us in big trouble yeah. is uh, for the final pose, right? For the when the song ended, yeah, uh, we stacked up like a pyramid, uh, like a dick. So we had two on the bottom, and then we did two singles. <laughs> okay. And then my fr- my friend on top had flower inside of a French horn. Ah. He was like da 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 da. <laughs> just blew, and then blew out the flower. A bunch, of, a bunch of flower out the wow, top. Wow, you guys, you guys pushed it far. <laughs> you guys actually right. simulated so maybe ejaculation. I just, uh, I deserve it. Probably. All right. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, are you ready for One Star Heroes? Let's do it. That's what we do right now. Zach, you fucking got I get no respect in real life. I always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. Mm. All right. I uh, decided to go with, a, you know, obviously a sex theme for today's show. And I picked Target of all places because when I was in Denver, my buddy Doug Mellard. Because nothing says sex like Target. Nothing says sex like Target. <laughs> we were walking around, Lindsay, Doug, and I. And uh, walked past this little Target downtown Denver, and he was, he was like, "Did you know that Target has sex toys?" And we were like, "What? What's Doug? T- what's Doug thinking about anyway? <laughs> why is that? Why is that?" I can't remember how we got there. It, it was like in a natural flow of the. I mean, I I get it, right? Because I'm always just like thinking about weird shit. But he's walking by, he's like, "Hey, you guys, know like a fucking dildos near?" Doug's always thinking about weird shit too. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was all over the place, Sweet. and, and, and I, I am as well. Yes. But then we were. Doug lives in Austin, Texas, and so then Lindsay was like, "Well, maybe is that just like an Austin thing?" She was just so surprised because she's a big Target fan and had never noticed that Target has like actual sex toys, like dildos and vibrators and stuff. I didn't know that till right now. I didn't. I didn't know that either. Um, and maybe not like veiny, lifelike dildos. I I didn't find these, but they have like you know some. Uh, <laughs> Vibrators. I was surprised to see a Target. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. I picture because it's Target. Yeah, uh, it's like a spatula, but like the top looks a little bit like a dick. <laughs> like that's just kind <laughs> of what the Target, Target dildo. The Target dildo is just normal household things, mm-hmm. but you could probably put it inside you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I went to Target.com okay. and I did find some uh, sex toys that we found some good reviews. of. this first one is the plus one waterproof rechargeable dual vibrating massager. Looks like that could be in a fish tank. That looks like a, mm, a one of those fake it coral could. reefs type thing. Now, and this is $29.99, 2,627 reviews, and the overall rating is 4.7. 
So this is a well-rated product. Let's look at our first reviewer. What if your dick looked like that? Oh my god. Like a weird, like a, if like your a dick terrible look, oven mitt. If your dick looked like that, you might be a huge hit though if the little part of your dick could vibrate. Ooh. Just like was the like perfect the, angle the for appendage. the for the clit and then could vibrate on it. The rabbit, mm -hmm. that, I think was the OG. Mm -hmm. The little rabbit yeah. dildo thing. Yeah. Uh, this first uh, person, I just liked, uh, this just cracked me up. Maybe it's just funny to me. <laughs> Doesn't work, not waterproof, it stopped working after one use. And I just wondered, like, were you using the shower or were you just that wet? <laughs> yeah. did, did it work so well that you flooded it and destroyed it the first time out the gate? Which, in that case, five stars. Five fuck, five stars, you're, and you're a legend. <laughs> right. What a, what a magic pussy you have. Jeez Louise. You just drowned your... Oh my heck. You drowned your, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Squirt uh, plus one waterproof rechargeable dual vibrating <laughs> massager. You squirted that shit right into a new person. <laughs> Buy it again. Keep buying it. That is worth it. Yeah. You find something that does that does the magic that well? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this next one. <laughs> now this person, I just don't <laughs> think they know how to use it. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it starts off one star. Yeah, like Joe said, ouch is the subject. <laughs> and it just says, for me it's uncomfortable and just more floppy. Uh, parenthetical soft, not sure how to explain it than I was expecting. The head is bulbous and the other part just not hitting right. We tried it out and won't be using it again. Now, if, if anybody watching the YouTube version, I'll try and explain it for the audio listeners. How you use uh, this is the big part goes into the vaginal canal. It does. And then the little part that curves around vibrates and is supposed to be hitting the clitoris. But it's not like, I mean, yeah, you can thrust it. You can do different things, whatever kind of like works for you. But I feel like the way this person wrote this review, it's like, yeah, the head is bulbous. Well, like, yeah, you knew that when you saw like the picture of it. Right. And what are you just fucking jamming it in there? Just like no <laughs> warm up, no lube, no chance to get like wet. You're just like, oh! Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> that even... hurts when it got jammed in there. Or, or you putting like the little part in, and then you're you're hitting your clit with the big bulbous part. Like I just feel like they're fucking it up. <laughs> they have to be. Yeah. I mean, a dick itself. I mean, not if, if you're calling that bulbous, right? And what what are other things you're putting in there? Right. Like, what do you need? Like a super fine tip wizard wand? Right. Like a little pencil dick. <laughs> like you only want a pencil dick. Whip. Like a like a filed down pool. <laughs> Q? <laughs> right, right. Like, how, what are you? What are you normally putting in there? Yeah, has to be the perfect tapered from zero mm -hmm. to thickness to three inches thick. I know because dicks have usually the <laughs> head is a little bit bigger or as big as you the gotta shaft. You got to pop it in there. Yeah, yeah. Not many people have like a a, a little wedge shaft or a little <laughs> no. wedge head. Right. <laughs> like it's a, and Which just, is we understand an evolutionary flaw. <laughs> right. It should be more spear shit. It's not. So <laughs> deal with it. And <laughs> and we've gotten away with it so far. So maybe right. the problem is your vagina. Ouchie, ouch lady. And I just think that that thing of it's just not hitting right. It's like you can adjust. <laughs> move it around. You move it around until the little part is on your clit. And I promise the big part's long. Unless you have the world's weirdest shape vagina <laughs> where the hole is on like your left ass cheek or something. <laughs> sure. That's Your vaginal canal is in the back mm. and your clitoris is on like your fucking shoulder. <laughs> oh, and then boy. you're like, ah, it just doesn't doesn't reach both of them. Yeah, because you have a fucking mutant vagina. <laughs> but if you have a normal in the ballpark of a regular shape, it's going to work if you use it right. <laughs> if you got like a ballpark vagina. <laughs> if you got a ballpark vagina. <laughs> okay, so this next toy, this is even cheaper. fifteen ninety nine. What's that? Fuck, that's an that's a Amazon remote. It's a little, it does look like an Amazon that's remote. A fire shape. stick. This is a vibrating bullet. <laughs> Waterproof, rechargeable, vibrating bullet. Uh, only fifteen ninety nine. A lot of good, 4,942 reviews, 4.8. Damn. But <laughs> look at that! Thing. This person, this cracked me up. This is a lunatic <sighs> writing this. This is uh, so funny to me. All right, this thing is possessed. One star, and they're not just saying that like in a weird, funny way. Mm. I think they actually think it's possessed because then they write it randomly turns on by itself. Haven't used it for months, and then I hear a rattling noise coming from our bathroom. There was nothing even close to it that could have hit the power button. Has made me fear all vibrators. Jeez, Louise! I just hope that's a serious review, <laughs> and like they actually think that like. Vibrators are full of demons now, <laughs> right. and they're and they're just like just little scared. battery, little battery demons. Yep, little battery demons. There's just a factory. Ah! There's a factory in China somewhere just just cranking out fucking demon holders, <laughs> little at, demon cases. At the end, someone curses it. Yep, someone's like hey, just a huge assembly line, like like Laverne and Shirley assembly line, where they're making like vibrators and little. And then at the end, there's one person be like, and the demons in you, and, I, and Satan put the demon in you, and Satan put the demon in you, just and over and over, and turn on whenever you want, ship it. <laughs> <laughs> just some guy wearing like a huge like upside down. And he's got the pentagram and everything, <laughs> sure. like a black robe. But he's also like a factory worker, and he's just like working twelve-hour shifts. Stanford, and he's fucking tired. <laughs> he's just like Satan's inside you. Satan's inside you. I just pictured safety uh, or Satan in a safety vest. 
<laughs> like he has to have a hard hat on. Oh, like and an like actual the, like, the, like like a demon, mm-hmm. like a fucking demon. The red Satan, red with Satan the horns and the tail, <laughs> right, uh-huh. the whole thing. Uh, and he has yeah. he has a reflective safety vest on. It says like supervisor on the back in a hard hat, <laughs> right. and he's just he has, God damn it, work his way slow down in hell, and he has to he has to curse a bunch of tiny dildos. He's so bored with one of his demon hands, like with one of his hands, he just like flipping through Instagram or like TikTok <laughs> sure. or whatever, like probably grinder, he, grinder. He's on his phone, and and then with the, just kind of half assed, he just like uh, and uh, uh, I'm trying to think of demon names, um, Balrog or <laughs> sure. Balzoth. He just like Azazel, Azazel, Azazel. get in there, get in there, Azazel, get in there, blah, blah, blah. whatever, just like <laughs> so <right>. uninterested, <laughs> sealing him up. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> get in there. Hey, get in there. <laughs> ah, fucking whatever. <laughs> okay, this this next Those one. Those things are small though. They've got to get Those lost little, inside. Those little bullets. They look a little slippery. I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's only clit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the, I think the bullets are only uh, for the clit. That'd be weird. Yeah, that, that that'd be that'd be the person from the last review. <laughs> Make if it they're, smaller, if they're like, man, I, that, this thing just keeps getting lost inside her vagina. Like they're just taking this little tiny uh, bullet and just like trying to push it way up in there, and, and then eventually just losing and hold right of it. in my butt. <laughs> and nope, right that's butt. not where that goes. <laughs> Guess what? Not coming out. Next target sex uh, toy product: KY Duration Spray for men. Thirty six sprays. It says don't stop. <laughs> just, just don't. Yeah, it says, don't say just stop. Don't. Just don't. You say just don't. It says don't stop on the box. And ratings not as good. Sixty ratings and overall three point eight. Mm. Okay, so some people are unhappy. I just like the way this one was, was wrote. J, uh, J S wife seventeen three years ago one star. I would never buy this product again. Mm. We're out of over twenty dollars, all because it didn't work. It caused a major problem with my husband and customer service. Want to mail a five dollar coupon because it's his fault. No, he followed the instructions as it said. So KY owes us twenty dollars for a failed product. I just like the part. It caused a major problem. <laughs> did it cause a major problem, or did it just not make his dick feel exactly the way he wanted his dick to feel? Here's the thing. What kind of major problem was caused? I mean, if it's and a fu- it's duration spray, yes, yes. so he came too quick. Sure, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. That's but the major problem. How I read this was maybe a financial situation. Okay. But if you're in such a tight financial situation, why are you fucking buying dura- you, K- KY duration spray? Why are you buying fucking some fuck KI or KY products for twenty mm-hmm. bucks? Mm-hmm. Like just just hold hold off. Maybe that's not important right now. Yeah. Uh, just just maybe don't spend it. Don't worry so much. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry that your whole life collapsed over this twenty dollars. Yeah. But just don't buy the lube or the spray, right? Just don't. That's not where you spend your money right now. Go buy some fucking bread. Pro sex tip for uh, if you're having problems with duration. Don't have sex. Jerk off. Oh, right before jerk off. Rinse your duck off, dick off in cold <laughs> water. <laughs> jerk off. Rinse your dick off in cold water. Okay. Right, and then you start trying to have sex. Now it's gonna be harder to come. And, and and if it gets close to coming, <laughs> this is a crazy sex move. Somebody told me about a long time ago. And it's probably not healthy, but it does work. You take your dick out and you bop the head. You give you give the head of your dick a little slap, a little like slap, a little, little slap, slap across, like a little little bad boy. Not not enough to hurt it, not enough to ouch. bend it, but enough to little ouchy to like, oh, that's like not ha- sexual. Like kind of knock it off. And then your dick instinctively wants to be like, oh, I gotta limp up and why'd you? And it makes it a little uh-huh. harder to come. Why'd you do that? Wow, why'd you do that? What I do? And what I do? And I was. And if you beat off beforehand mm-hmm. and then stick your, your dick in cold water, mm-hmm. like you said, mm-hmm. then also, like, the fun part is your wife gets a little sad, too, because she thinks that she's not sexy enough anymore. Bonus. Which is a bingo to drag her down <laughs> when it's actually your fault. <laughs> but you get the power move on top mm-hmm. of it where it's like, mm-hmm. well, maybe you're not working hard enough oh. anymore. Mm-hmm. So it's a double feature. Okay. So if you want to let or put people down <laughs> and then possibly last longer, make yourself better, right. do that. Okay. That was a different angle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it not work? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're not treating it right. She doesn't know you jerked off 15 times, four minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, another uh, lubricant here, or I guess that last one wasn't a lubricant exactly. Uh, another um, liquid. This is KY Yours and Mine, Couples Personal Lube, three ounce, two pack. How the fuck do they get to trademark yours and mine? No, uh, yeah, I don't know. Fuck you. Uh, get out of here. Isn't that context, maybe? I guess. 516 reviews, only three out of four okay. out of five stars, so not as popular. Uh, okay, this review cracked me up. Stay away from this. One star. <laughs> Adrian, from a year ago. Do not use this. My private part is inflamed and on fire after using this. Save yourself. I just I include this one because of the sentence, my private part is inflamed. It could have been a period there. Nope. Right. And on fire. <laughs> Listen, guys, if it was just inflamed, that'd be one thing. <laughs> but it's inflamed and literally on fire. Look at it. Look at it. It's burnt to a fucking crisp. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a little quick silly one. Oh, that's funny. I love that. Another one, KY, uh, same same product, yours and, and uh, mine. I would never buy this product again. From Zach the Man from two years ago. <laughs> one star. 
Zach the man. Yeah, come on. Made her intimate areas so cold they were almost numb <laughs> and almost ruined our sex experience. Then it's extremely sticky afterwards, even down your legs. <laughs> Dude, is he writing this at gunpoint <laughs> from her? He's like, you'll fucking write a review about this shit. <laughs> Why? It's not going to do anything. Do it. Do it. Tell him it's, still, it's sticky down my legs. <laughs> then I don't fucking care. I just love that he said, even down your legs. Like, why would you think the stickiness would only be confined to the genital region? <laughs> right. Like, it has some weird property that when it mixes like, with it's genitals. It's like epoxy. <laughs> right. You have, you have, you have yeah. two parts. Yep. And then once you mix them, right. then it turns into cement. And it somehow knows that your <laughs> genital area is like a different kind of skin <laughs> than this. And it's like, okay, now we're, now we're sticky. But once you hit the legs, oh, then it's smooth as butter. <laughs> right on out. It's like, you fucking weirdo. Of turns into it. baby oil. <laughs> right. But on that pussy, no way. It's and a I, sucker. And I also liked almost ruined. Uh, so cold, they were almost numb. Almost ruined. I feel like it did ruin the sexual experience for her. Huh. And Zach's like, I still came. <laughs> right. I mean, it didn't totally ruin our... She was like, I can't feel anything. This sucks. And he's like, couple more thrusts, babe. <laughs> almost ruined. I'm change that for you. <laughs> you just wait till I'm all the way in. <laughs> I, I can't feel anything. I, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> well, one more on the KY, yours and mine. This is horrible from... <laughs> Hamaborga two three years ago. Mm -hmm. I bought this for me and my husband to try it. We love the plain Lou from KY, so we figured, why not try it? It makes both of us go numb. It makes me burn like crazy. We both, all capitals, <laughs> hate it. It sits in our nightstand we absol with absolutely no use. Do not recommend. Okay, what killed me is... Throw, throw it away. Throw it away. Exactly. <laughs> Why the fuck? You're like, this thing burns me. It makes both of us numb. It makes we me both cry. hate it. It <laughs> makes... It made my kids leave us. Right. It made our neighbors move. It reminds me of how sad I am. <laughs> right, right, right. How, like, how much I let my parents down. <laughs> And, well, and it just sits there on our nightstand. Because you never know when we're going to need it next. <laughs> like, why the fuck is it still in your nightstand like if you like, hate it this much? <laughs> I picture it's like a, like a little pedestal. Right. And like it's, uh, The lights hit it perfectly. It glistens. Like, fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Statue of hate. I just feel like if they have it in their nightstand still, it's because it's like, oh, you, you still might use it in a pinch. Mm, right. It's like, no, use olive oil. Anything <laughs> other than this. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> sure, move on. <laughs> move on. This lube does sound a little scary, though. I will say. And, uh, nothing's worth a numbass dick. Nothing's worth a numbass dick. And, that, and that's the last one I have. I thought I had one more for a second because I left a tab open from what is latex. <laughs> so if you do want, I could go over is the definition of latex could, again. Anything more we can learn about latex? Anything more? Nah, I think, I think, uh, what is, think we covered it? what is latex most used for? Ooh, nice. Thank you. Well played. Thank you. Uh, what is latex most used for? It's a, a document. Oh, the, God damn it. It, it, it keeps confusing it with the software. And I'm like, uh -oh. document preparation system? I just picture some guy pouring like late, hot latex into a, like, a fucking manila, manila envelope. I just pictured a nerd. Like, that's, that's his sexy talk. He's like, yeah, baby, go lay down and get my document ready for, for processing. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting this latex on, and then we're going to get some document preparation done for some high-quality typesetting. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Do you like medium to large technical or scientific documents? Because that's what this latex is for. Oh, Bill Gates, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah, I will. You like data entry? Because I got something to enter your data with my latex. She's like, would you just shut up and fuck me? Please, just put Come it on. Put I'm it so dry. The whole time he's, he's fucking her, he's making internet dial-up connection noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, that was fun. Okay, good. Uh, I found some funny stuff on the internet. Would you like to take a look at it? I would love to take a look at okay, it. Okay, we'll do that in the next segment. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. Oh, the sound this would make. Okay. Are you ready mm -hmm. to take a, a look at one of the one of my favorite things? This is a butt plug. Okay. And we've covered butt plugs on the show in mm -hmm. the past. Mm -hmm. We had we've had like a butt plug taco holder. Yeah. I mean, we've had like a duck oh, yeah. uh, like a butt plug Jesus. Like <laughs> things like that. Right? This is my favorite butt plug so far. Okay. This is a butt plug doorstop. If you want to bring it up on the screen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know those uh, oh my god little metal springs yep the bang. old school bang 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 and yep. you can uh, the metal spring that you can bounce around yeah so yeah it's a butt plug and it has one of those on the other end of on it. the other end of it so that you can boink it novelty gag gift butt plug fucking show you gag gift on this dick god you could yeah because you know that somebody well, yeah don't somebody, make it a gag gift this is fun they're 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 having sex from behind <laughs> 
<laughs> right? He's in the with his penis in the vagina, and then everyone, and then her, she has the butt plug in, and he's just making that bling, <laughs> bling, 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 bling as they like thrust around. That's the best. That's like something <laughs> laughing and coming. I know. Is there anything better <laughs> than, a, than, a, than a funny, a funny sex come thing? I don't think I've ever. Is it even possible laugh to laugh and come? Yeah. Yeah. There's moments where stuff happens. They, 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 you can, one rolls into the other. You can, yeah, you can. You can. Something happens when you're all, and you're in the moment, okay. and you can't stop laughing, but you also can't just stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, it's a, it's gonna be a little laugh come thing. What a what a wonderful moment! <laughs> what a wonderful moment of falling <laughs> off the bed and coming on your own face. Uh, <laughs> so this butt plug can be yours for sixteen bucks. Uh, it's on Etsy. Again, I'm terrified to link to anything anymore, but I think I can link to this. I mean, we, yeah. we've linked to worse, so I'll, I'll yeah, put the link in no the episode description. Yeah, no or anything. Yeah, no, no, it's just the fucking butt plug. Mm-mm. God, it, look, it looks quality made, but how much fun would that be? Gosh dang. It does look quality made. They did a good job. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, I'm going to request a good replica. A fucking bigger. I'm going to gate my ass if I'm going to put a like a doorstop butt plug in there. I just picture I some- I don't want tiny. Well, look at too small. Picture some psychotic billionaire where he has like some crazy eyes wide shut type of party, <laughs> but, but he has models sitting down like against Little the wall. An- antenna, mm-hmm. antenna like, butts. Uh, there's like a huge door, and they're the actual doorstop, and it and it is using their fucking butt plug. Ooh. Some, oh. Ooh. Yeah, and then some weirdos like shutting the door to them. You like that, like that, like that, like that. <laughs> some guy comes through way too aggressively, oh kicks it open, and just bashes they, that doorstop. Oh my in. god! Slams the door, and you just Woo! Like, Woo! <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Did I hit you? No, do it again. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's completely gone. Yeah. Oh, but stick another one in there. Now we got to get you, doctor. Right. <laughs> we're, not, we're not sticking through uh, doorstop butt plugs in your butt, Linda. <laughs> we're going to get you to the fucking hospital. Uh, uh, I got one more thing to show you for to you from the internet. Okay. I did not know this exists, and it's at furnitureporn.com. Uh, what? <laughs> it has to be a joke. I don't have proof that it is, but there's a whole website dedicated to like setting <laughs> furniture and sex positions, yeah. and they write little captions okay. <laughs> that go along with them. And I'm going to go with the hot outdoor action, okay? which says, check out these hot lounge chairs, <laughs> do anything but lounge, <laughs> better get the garden hose. And it looks like a fucking GeoCity website. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in. It says, a, uh, a couple of hot gay teen lawn chair sluts in their natural <laughs> environment. Doing what comes natural. And it just like they just have a couple sun chairs like stacked up, fucking yep. each other. They just flipped one over, so it looks like the top of that. <laughs> oh yeah, they have like one that sun chair combo looks like the one sun chair is hitting the other one from behind. Yeah, the other one looked like the sun chair was eating out the other uh-huh. sun chair. Read that caption. Yeah, this one the caption. It's a beautiful day. Dot 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 for hot gay <laughs> for hot gay teen lawn chair slut humping. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can go oh, wait, forever. Wait, Here they are standing the, against the... Wait, against the, the, <sighs> bot- the bottom, sorry, scroll up a little bit. What's oh. the date? What's the date? Because this is the oldest looking website. Okay. 1992. <laughs> to 1998. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on there. So somebody had uh, a sense of humor uh, a long ass time ago. Look at this shit. Hawk 18 launch air sluts be getting it on. <laughs> Whoever made this website, somebody made this in, somebody made this in like a day, dude. And, and they've left it up the, since nineteen ninety two. There's more. There's office chair. There's like a bound office chair that's taped up. Oh like yeah, the bondage seat. It's so funny. It's so funny. That is so funny. I, mm-hmm. I do love stuff like this where it's like I would have never thought of this. <laughs> no, ever. ever. But it exists, and it's one of the reasons I keep going back to the internet. There's not many, and and furniture porn has brought me back. Right. You you could go to just random, you know, kind of like comment sections of mm-hmm. like political articles and just become infuriated if you want to like, you know, spend your days that way. Mm-hmm. Or you could find just like, you know, a, a lawn chair porn parody. <laughs> right. Or gay. Gay yeah. lawn chairs. Yeah. I don't understand why the lawn chairs are, all have to be gay for this uh, site. I, well, but I guess that, that's the site. Uh, I, I wonder <laughs> if there's another website that's like straight or bisexual. <laughs> Lesbian lawn chairs? I wonder, yeah, like how they break it down. Lesbian lawn chairs, bi lawn chairs. Every kind of lawn chair. Trend. Lawn chair getting pegged. <laughs> Specifically a pegging site. <laughs> for for some chairs. There's ethnic, there's like, you know, mixed. white, black, Asian, mixed. Interracial. Like, interracial. <laughs> his, Hispanic. Hispanic, bisexual, uh, sheep. <laughs> what is it? Like um, hermaphrodite. Sure. Lawn chair porn. Uh-huh. Like really get like, like, like the Pornhub version. There's a black chair just fucking a white desk. <laughs> just like weird stuff. It, it's a well hung black office chair. And that desk is taken mm-hmm. in all the drawers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and deep. The deepest of the filing cabinet. Like double, all the way back to the secret folders. Double penetration. <laughs> There's like two lawn chairs tag teaming a uh, uh, fucking office desk. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need to see that, but you probably should. And I'll yeah. link it in the episode description. Because I, I don't know how I found it. I have no idea. No idea. Uh, I don't know how, how a lot of things in life work, actually, Dan. Uh, you want to hear some more from our listeners? I do. All right, we're going to do junk mail. 
It's a wild, ah. it's a wild world out there. <laughs> wild world out there. I tell you what, I'm gonna shake that guy's hand. If you, for whatever reason, furniture, sex, website maker, you end up here in this episode, please reach out because I want to send you my thanks. Our first piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Dan, not this Dan, not me, because that'd be weird. Different Dummy. Hey Dan and Joe. I was listening to your most recent episode, Umbrella, Banana, Bread, CO2, Sad Robber. (laughs) And before the super most important starting question, you guys were talking about starting fires by rubbing your dick. Well, (laughs) one of my best friends, while figuring out how to masturbate, rubbed his dick between his hands like starting a fire. What? He was convinced this is the way you do it (laughs) until he went to the doctor for blisters and burn marks on his penis. No way. Because we were, we were talking about something very similar as a joke, right? Like, how yeah. crazy would it be if you tried to, like, <laughs> and then smoke's coming off your dick? And this guy yeah! and this guy actually did that. The doctor Whittled his dick, whittled himself into the <laughs> into doctor's a, office. To a, into a blister. To a burned ass hot Oh, dog. my God. <laughs> Scorched wings. He friction burned his dick trying to, like, Classic. masturbate like you're trying to start an old fucking western fire. Classic. I remember those early days of trying to figure out how the wiener worked. True. I, I didn't know how it worked. I just mm-hmm. thought I could force it out. You can't. And I was like, why am I just peeing? Come on. Come on. Where's the where's the fun stuff? Oh my god. I'll, I'll never forget this kid, a friend of mine in high school, talking about um, his girlfriend. It was like both of their, like, his first girlfriend, her first boyfriend, mm-hmm. and they were like the, the hand job phase. Oh boy. And, uh, and he was just like so frustrated. He's like, the skin moves! <laughs> the skin moves! But I guess she was just like brutalizing his dick, like grabbing it way too fucking tight <laughs> and, and just like just basically like a friction burn. Sure. Like torture instead of like, no, just grab a little lower on the shaft and let the skin move up and down. Sure. It's, uh, there's, there's some slack down there on that skin. <laughs> Yes, there is. Sure is. Uh, When the doctor asked what happened, he claimed it was a wakeboarding accident. (laughs) (laughs) That's almost even weirder. A wakeboarding accident. Why is your dick in the rope? Why is your dick? (laughs) Why are you fucking the rope? Why are you doing nude wakeboarding? (laughs) Ah, When he told us this, we immediately called him the fire. We immediately called it the fire starter method. I hope you guys enjoyed this story as much as I did hearing it for the first time. Love your guys' content. Helps me get through work. Oh, thank you. I've never heard of that. Someone doing that before. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, next story. Yeah. I just I get the, the lies. When you get caught in something like that, mm-hmm. and you're so embarrassed, and you pull yeah, you, just something out of your ass. And true. <laughs> the first thing you pull out is just terrible. Wakeboarding. <laughs> like, gosh, I should have went with something better than wakeboarding. <laughs> Anything. And yeah, and you know the doctor's like, you were jerking off. From me. <laughs> right. They're like, no, I've done it. I've been. I've seen you. I've seen. <laughs> I, I've seen your friends. You guys all <laughs> right. have. You guys all have blisters on your dick. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> your whole family. Your dad uh, came in last week, fucking bushes on his dick. <laughs> none of you know. That's what none you know how to do it right. Yeah, none, none of you guys know what the fuck's going on. Uh, so our last piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Ron, who writes, How's it going, Fred and Barney? <laughs> Hi, <Hey>, Ron. <laughs> My name's Ron from Karen Crow, Louisiana. This evening, oh. I was listening to episode 41, Clowns, Pickle, Hot Tub, Hooker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and you would you rather always feels, uh, or would you rather always feel like ants are crawling on you or always have a clown staring at you while you had sex? Oh, yeah. And it brought back a, mem- it brought back a memory as you guys riffed about the poor clown. When I was 19 or 20, back in 2001, 2002, I would frequent an adult video store with my best friend on a regular basis, and we'd look for the sure. most obscure and hilarious looking videos and then rent them. I came across one of one of one of these things at 3 a.m. Uh, it's called Captain Mongo's Porno Playhouse. It was a spoof of a Saturday morning kids show, complete with its own cast of characters, including Fucko the Clown. Oh my God! We're gonna, we're gonna play a little bit of Fucko here in a second. Okay. And we don't have to blur it, which okay. is great. Okay. Uh, he had his own segment called Fucko's Crusty Corner and his own theme song. Uh, we were so enthralled by this, ended up. Uh, ponying up the sixty dollars to actually buy it, actually buy it after we rented it twice, and then after seeing his theme song out of nowhere, just kept on popping up. I hadn't thought about it in probably a decade, and decided to see if I could find the theme song out there. And sure enough, there's an edited section on YouTube. Starts around two fifty three. Thanks to uh, all you meat sacks and bad magic do. You make doing dishes and trying to homeschool my kids much more bearable. Sorry, not sorry for the length of this email. Can't wait to catch up to current and add this to my subscription list. Wouldn't change a thing. Three out of five stars. Your loyal meat sack creeper dummy, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, fuck yeah, Ron. Uh, So I did have to look into this. Yeah. Because I'm uh, a pervert. I was also intrigued and wanted to be entertained. Uh, We'll watch a little bit of the the front end just to... set what the fuck is going on and then we'll go ahead to fucko's theme song okay okay okay, okay so here you go now it's time to read from captain mongo's mailbag of surprise what stay with me i'll kill you kill you oh i 
I think we have a visitor. Why? So it's oh, my boy. very good friend, Fucko the Clown. It's terrifying. I know. He's a pretty good Who's actor, I will say. That clown with his pants hanging down. It's Fucko. Oh Fucko. Who's that clown with his pants hanging down? It's Fucko. Fucko. That's me. <laughs> Oh my God! How crazy is this? How this is so crazy. crazy. And then you I know, had to look up other look parts. Like he goes to blow up balloon pants. animals and can't do it. And makes funny jokes. They have a whole set. It's a whole set. <laughs> it's a pretty elaborate costume. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go to the to the theme song here. Okay. Okay. And you get to enjoy uh, this. Navigate. It's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. Fucko the clown's crusty corner. Crusty corner. Okay. Back to crusty corner. Me, that's like Tim and Eric Awesome show, great job, or like uh, right. Eric Andre show. Like it's that humor, right? But in porn, but years earlier, right? Like Fucko the Clown might have revolutionized everything, right? Which we and we don't even know. I guarantee don't know you, his impact. Guarantee you, some uh, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim execs are very familiar with Fucko the Clown. They have to be. It's it's it, that is, it's an influence. And you'll be happy to know. Yeah, we didn't show it in this clip. Yeah, uh, but Fucko the Clown does fuck pussies and butts. Really? I found that as well. Okay. I, I was just doing research. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Captain, the, the host, yeah. also fucks some pussies and butts. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh well, good for them. Um, but uh, I was joking around with Zach uh, before the show. Yeah. Like, Fucko the Clown, he has some great acting parts where he mm -hmm. starts crying and he really sells it. And it's just, he ran into this dilemma yeah. where he was pretty good at acting, but he also had a big dick. <laughs> and he didn't know what to do with it. And, and then all of that, years into it, acting school mm -hmm. and having a big dick and fucking stuff, Turned into Fucko the Clown. Oh my god! And this you, was the the apex of his life. Can you imagine if he was like a serious actor? But like <laughs> this guy, like like ten years before that was shot, he was in some like he was he was young, he was fresh faced. He's out. He in was LA. almost in Titanic. Right. Lead role. He came out to make it in L.A. <laughs> and, and, he, and he's like taking acting classes with like Kate Blanchett and like all these different like people who'd go on to stuff. And then his name comes up at a party. Like what, whatever happened to Ronnie Jenkins or whoever, whatever his name is? <laughs> check this out. They're like oh my god, check this out. He's uh, he's Fucko the Clown. He, he's I'm sorry what? I'm sorry, what? He's what? He's Fucko the Clown. You gotta watch this. It's actually pretty. Good. And then just play with the whole thing. Uh, so the director is just he got cast in a bunch of big movies. They found out right. his dick was way too big. Like and he just intimidated everybody. Everyone's scared of him. So they he was like, no, I'm sorry, bro. He's like, God damn it, my gut, my dick again. What can I do with this big old dick? <laughs> Take it to porn and do uh, fuck the clown. Honky honky. That would be funny if I'm trying to think of like Brad Pitt's like earliest movies. I know uh, there was a little scene in Thelma and Louise was I think mm -hmm. one of his first like big movies he had a small cameo in where he played like the sexy guy and like he was actually in line for that role. He had fucking washboard abs. He was mm -hmm. a good looking dude but when he's laying there on the couch you can, you just can't not see this giant trouser snake right. just wrapping down to his knee. Uh -huh. And they're just like it's too, I'm sorry <laughs> it's too distracting. Right. We've, we've tried no. to cover it up. <laughs> we, we've done we've done you're we, in this movie for fucking 50 Seconds. We put you in sweatpants. We put you in hammer <laughs> right. pants. We put we, you in. We've, we've had to do 500 takes. Right. There's three lines of dialogue. No one yeah. can focus. No, no one knows their fucking lines because <laughs> right. your big ass dick is, is fucking everybody up. Right. Sorry. Sorry. We, where's Brad Pitt? We tried putting you in a kilt. <laughs> right. And it looks like someone snuck an anaconda inside of your kilt. <laughs> right. Looks, it turns your kilt into a bell. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. We get it. It's funny. But you, I mean, we can't, you walk around and like, you're back set. We can't cut out and post the sound of your dick hitting your thighs. <laughs> like you're walking to go get lunch. We can hear your dick over here in Studio B. Like, it's just not going to work. Sorry. And then he's like, call this number. <laughs> I have a friend. He has this this parody show he's working on. Right. He needs a clown. I it's, think, li it's like PB Herman. It's like, house. it's like people, really, but thank God no kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's it's interesting. Uh -huh. Just give just give uh, just say uh, you know Don recommended you for the fuck with the clown role. Right. And, uh, <laughs> two two requirements. You got a big dick. We we all know you do. Do you like to fuck stuff? Yeah. You're gonna be great. And you're gonna be great. <laughs> this is gonna be great for you. <laughs> we wish wish the best of luck.
<laughs> uh, I will also I can link I'm, I'm linking to Fucko the Clown also in the in the description it's on YouTube yeah it's on YouTube fuck yeah y- YouTube shouldn't get mad at you linking to YouTube I know but I, f- I thought that one time before and got in trouble so <laughs> fuck me huh oh <laughs> uh, that's it episode 69 that was fun that was fun we um we really let it go yeah, we didn't get. I feel like it was too much, too over the top. It wasn't as much as the live show we had a while back. We, oh, uh, not, we, 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 Henry, thank you. You're welcome. Producing and directing, you made it all the way through 69 episodes. Do you rock hard out there? Pretty much so. Cool. Fucko, that, that's that, fucko. <laughs> who's that guy? With, who's that clown with his dick in your eye? Fucko. Or who's that guy with a dick in your eye? Fucko, fucko. <laughs> who's that guy with a dick in your eye? It's fucko, fucko the clown. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna sing that at the the live gathering. Perfect. That's gonna Perfect. be that's gonna be our thing. Just close the show with that. Uh, thanks to Zach Cohen creating some of the custom music beds for the show. Logan Keith, thanks, buddy. Even if your upcoming merch sale puts us all out of business, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Uh, again, thirty percent off everything. Yes. If you type in twenty twenty one, was weird, mm-hmm. and that'll get you thirty percent off everything starting tomorrow at noon and then running through the, uh, November thirty. Big Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. Yeehaw! Uh, check out all the other merch we have, badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com. Pick something up for a holiday party. Do it. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at iswedumb. Private Facebook group, Is We Dummies, moderated by Liz Hernandez and the All Seeing Eyes. Then we have our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for Bad Magic Productions. That'll bring it all up. And if there's something you want to see on the show, you can email that in to dumb at iswedumb.com. If you have a general question about how big our dicks are, mm-hmm. info at iswedumb.com. We're not working in porn. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so, so you know a little bit about it. You got a ballpark. <laughs> ballpark about these dicks. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then rate and review our podcast wherever you can. I can't get the fucko song out of my head. It's fucko. It's fucko. <laughs> Who's that clown with his pants on the ground? It's fucko <laughs> the clown. Pretty funny. Uh, I got a dad joke for you. I, I want to hear it. And we're going to do it. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Wow. Made a dad joke. Oh, a sent in by dummy Brent. Okay. How can you tell when a mechanic has had sex? How can I tell when a mechanic has had sex? A couple, ah. of, a couple of his fingers don't have grease on them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> nice. That's a nice dirty dad yeah, joke for today's dirty thing. He sucks. <laughs> that it? That's it. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. This week, uh... Bad Magic Productions.